guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Celeste Ifeo. And today we're going to back to a, a program I used to host here, Throwbacks. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, the Olympic 2004, the last time Ghana took part in the Olympic game. We'll look at the squad, where some of them are now, and the story of the tournament for Ghana in respect to that. 2004, I think, was the last time Ghana took part in an Olympic football tournament. Unfortunately for the Ghana Black Meteors at the time, we could not make it past the group stages and it was and a long wait, still is a long wait until we get back to the Olympic Games. 2023, we thought we could get there with the current Black Meteors team. Unfortunately, a group stage exit at uh, the African Under-23, AFCON Under-23 has seen us have to wait longer. The women are trying to get us there. They are through from round one to round two where they will face Benin in October. Today we throw back to 2004 and look at the 18-man squad that led us to that final 2004 Olympic tournament in Athens. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. Before we jump into today's uh, uh, discussion, we'll first give a shout out i've been meaning to do that for a while but it almost always seems to escape me but today i will give a shout out to a uh, kojo chris yes yeah, the couple last couple of videos we posted here on the channel uh, you posted a comment here uh, donko akwesi also a uh, shout out to you easy life uh, shout out to you as well thank you for watching our videos and commenting francis now now that's the name i got from the handle uh, thank you so much for commenting and true yan that's uh, the name i hope i got all your names right thank you so much i'll be doing this on a more regular basis comment and let me know your thoughts on the video i post today as well 2004 was the year in athens and uh, coach mariano barreto you might remember or that name might sound familiar to you well he was uh, coach Pokumasi Asante Kotoko not too long ago. He was the head coach of the Ghana Black Meteors at the time. That went into Athens 2004. We'll first look at how the tournament went for Ghana and look at the 18-man squad that was in it. Ghana went into this competition uh, in Group B, uh, same group as Paraguay, Japan and Italy. It was a tough group, a tall order for the Ghana Black Meteors. A young side composed of an 18-year-old baby Jetta Samoa Jan, along with his brother, who was at the time wearing the number three jersey, Bafour Jan. Charles Taylor was also in there, along with Stephen Apia, a base for the team that would lead Ghana into its first World Cup in 2006. Ghana started the tournament with their very first game versus Italy. It ended 2-2. The first goal coming from Emmanuel Papo in the 36th minute in that game. Uh, Steven Apia uh, doubled Ghana's lead at the time of the first half and it was looking like Ghana would get their first three points here at the competition. It did not happen. Italy rallied back. Uh, 49th minute goal uh, by uh, Pinti. And then Alberto Giladino completed a comeback uh, for the Azuri under 23. They went and finished the game with a share of the spoils with Ghana. Ghana went into our second game. Ghana overcame Paraguay in their second game 2 1. Also, an interesting encounter uh, there for the Ghana Black uh, Meteors. Uh, the goals came from Steven Apia and William Tierro. Uh, unfortunately for Ghana in their final game, they lost to Japan. Four points on the board was not enough as uh, Italy also got four points. Uh, Paraguay got six points in the end and they also progressed with the Italians. At the end of the entire competition, uh, Argentina were crowned the winners of uh, the Olympic football tournament in 2004. Carlos Tevez, uh, the highest goal scorer, there in that competition for Ghana, it was Steven Apia who was the highest goal scorer. I go from Emmanuel Papo and William Tierro as well. Each this was the 18 man squad that took part in that competition, and I'll run you through them and look at where they are right now. Now, George O was the goalkeeper 
uh, for the Ghana Black Meteors at the time. He was born in 1982 and at the time of this competition, he was 22 years of age. Uh, Owu was born in Accra and signed for Egyptian Premier League side Al Masri. He moved from Ashanti Gold. His performance earned him a trial with Premier League side uh, Tottenham Hotspur uh, but was not offered a contract. He returned to his homeland Ghana and signed for Cape Coast Busia Dwarfs in October 2010. In December 2012, it was confirmed that Owu rejoined his first professional club, Sekedi Azakes, in a one-year deal. He helped Ashanti Gold avoid relegation. Owu was part of Ghana's Olympic team in 2004. He was part of the under-20 team that got silver in 2001, a runners-up medal there. George Owu currently is 42 years of age and uh, he has retired from active of football. Nazar Lamine is the next player I look at. Uh, Nazar Lamine, born on 85 7th February, played for New Edibiase. He recently, previously played for Ashanti Kotoko. He was part of uh, the Olympic team that finished third and uh, he has currently uh, retired from active football. 38 years of age, uh, born in 1985. The next player on my list is Bafo Jan, the baba brother of Asamoa Jan, a former professional footballer himself, currently uh, with uh, Baby Jet Productions into uh, boxing uh, promotion. Bafo Jan uh, went out of the national team and Asamoa Jan picked up his number three jersey at the time. Uh, he was wearing number 12, Baby Jet, that is. Bafo Jan, well known in the footballing circles, uh, the brother of Hasamwajan. Emmanuel Osei, born in Accra, began his footballing career in 2001 and uh, moved to Suhum Max Peace. He, on January, on March 31st, 2009, signed a major league soccer side, New England Revolution. On November 14, 2012, he returned to his country and played for Hard to Fall. Currently uh, retired, he played as a defender in his play time. John Mensa uh, went on to become the next Black Stars captain and uh, led us to our second one in 2010. And, uh, he retired after a while, currently retired from football and uh, probably earning his coaching badges. Emmanuel Papo, one of the goal scorers in this competition, uh, he is a defender, uh, born in Accra. Uh, joined Lanaka in summer of 2007. Uh, Papo applied his trade in the Israeli Premier League, uh, playing two seasons each at FC Ashdod. Uh, until December 2009, he left uh, Belta Shemson, Tel Aviv of Israel League in 2010, October 2010, and returned to his youth club, uh, Liberty Professionals. He was selected to represent Ghana at the 2006 World Cup, where he made two appearances in four matches and um, fancied Africans bowed out at the round of 16 uh, to uh, Brazil nonetheless. He was also part of the team uh, that won the runners-up medal in 2001 in the FIFA World Youth Championship. Emmanuel Papo, a defender. Abubakar Yahuza, a midfielder. Abubakar Yahuza, second Kradi. A Ghanaian former footballer. After spells in Israel, Hauza returned to Ghana where he played for New Edibiasi United until he suffered a career ending injury in 2012. So he has not been playing active football since 2012. Charles Taylor, the heart of all Kumasi Asante Kotoko legend. Uh, he played for both clubs, currently doing punditry work with Angel uh, Sports and Angel TV. He is one who did amazingly well when in the national team colors. Uh, Kojo Opoku, born 1985. Simply known as Kojo Opoku, is a Ghanaian former professional who played as a striker. He began his career with Kotoko. Uh, prominence in 2002 when he was promoted from his junior team of Kotoko and succeeded in making an immediate impact in Kotoko's journey to the final of the 2002 African Cup Winners' Cup, which they eventually lost to Wydad Casablanca of Morocco in a final. 
He returned to sign for Hazakes in 2013. Uh, he has since retired from active football. Steven Tornado Apia went on to lead Ghana to our very first World Cup in 2006. And uh, he has been integral to Ghana's football development. Was played his last World Cup in 2010, was part of the team, was part of the squad that almost made history. Uh, Patrick Villas is also another player who was in the uh, Villas has played for Edubiase or Turkish side tra Trabs on Sport in South Korea for uh, Bochan SK for Israeli club Maccabi Peta in Belgium uh, for Perijen Hussein and in China uh, for Quindao Halifax. He was part of the team. Unfortunately, he has currently retired from active uh, football, not involved in anything football. Baby Jetta Samwa Jan was also in there. He went on to prominence. Scored Ghana's first goal at the World Cup in 2006, was part of the team that almost made history in 2010. So many exploits on the African continent for Baby Jetta Samwajan. He's currently a retired footballer and uh, recently did that a couple of months ago. Highest Ghanaian uh, goal scorer, 51 goals in 109 matches. Highest goal scorer at a World Cup by an African player six goals not a mean feat the highest goal scorer at a world cup is 16 goals Miroslav Klosa so baby jet is in some good company here Razak Bimpong went on uh, to play for Ghana at the world cup in 2006 currently retired from football he played uh, as a striker and attacking midfielder he played for FC Mechelland FC Copenhagen and uh, Vibok FF he also is versatile and could play wide, either as a right-sided midfielder or a right winger. Bing Pong was part of the national team in 2006. Unfortunately, he did not make it to 2010 FIFA World Cup. Our next player I'll look at is John Painto. Went on to become arguably Ghana's best right back in that position for the senior national team. Currently with his own academy, and they're doing well with them. John Painso is enjoying retirement life as a footballer. Great, great right back. Played for Fulham, West Ham in the English League. Also played with Liberty Professionals, Maccabi Tel Aviv, Hapoel Tel Aviv as well. Daniel Coleman is the next one on my list. Coleman began his career at Heart of Folk and joined them in 2005. He went on loan to Al Nasir before turned back to Hearts in January 2006. In 2008, the team captain of Hearts of Oak left his club to sign for Real Tamale United. He was sacked by Real Tamale United and became a free agent. After retirement, Coleman began a music career. Interesting. Interesting there. Uh, he was part of Ghana's Olympic team. Finished that. He also played one game for the Ghana national team in 2005. That was the end uh, for him. His career with the national team ended in 2005. William Kwabanatiero, one of the goal scorers in the competition. Uh, he was part of the Olympic team, born 1980. Uh, he played as a midfielder, currently retired uh, from football. William Kwabanatiero, most of his uh, playtime uh, from the beginning, he started with Liberty Professionals, went on to Asante Kotoko, uh, Victoria SC, uh, went on to Neville and uh, Academia, played also for CSK Sophia and ended his career in 2013 with Gel Vicente. He uh, played with Ghana from 2003 to 2008, making nine appearances William Tierro. You see Chipsa, a 30th of December midfielder. He last played uh, for a Swedish side, uh, Logskill SK. Born in Accra, Chipsa started his career in Kumase with K. Faisal in his home country, went on to Asante Kotoko. Also played uh, for Alanya Sport in Turkey between 2014 to 2015 made 13 appearances for Ghana, scoring one goal from 2000 
and four there, Yusef Chips. And finally, Mohamed Alassan, the second goalkeeper in this squad here. Uh, he played uh, for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Uh, he currently plays for Techiman 11 wise, uh, 39 years of age currently. So that was the squad that uh, played in the Olympic Games, the last time Ghana took part in the Olympic Games. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box and what major throwback would you want me to look at again? What major team would you want me to look back in the history of Ghana? 2004 Olympics team, where are they now? The last time Ghana took part in a men's football tournament at an Olympic competition. We still wait. When do you think next Ghana can make it? The next Olympics? Let me know what you think in the comments box. Hopefully, the women do make us proud. I'll see you guys. Enjoy the rest of your week.